Here is a Max South Sports team update. Hello and welcome to Kosciuszko, Mississippi. Philip Palmertree here on location with a season preview for the Kosciuszko Whippets competing in Region 4 of 4A. Whippets 0-6 on the season and carrying a 13-game losing streak going back to last year. But under new head football coach Kelly Causey, they're taking the steps forward to try to learn to run the ball effectively and also in that losing streak. And in just a moment, we'll talk with Coach Causey about the season and about some of the key players for the Whippets. Philip Palmer Tree here on location with Kosciuszko Whippet head football coach Kelly Causey. Coach Causey in his first year uh, turning around Whippet program that's uh, Falling on some hard times, but a lot of signs of improvement. And coach, uh, talk about the season uh, so far, and some of the the uh, successes and some of the disappointments. Well, you know, we of course the records were 0 and 6, so that's that's of course the negative, I guess you'd have to say. But uh, you know, offensively, you know, I was looking at uh, where we are and what we've done this year. You know, we're um, 12th in 4A out of 48 schools. We're 12th in offense, and uh, so that's big. It's hard to believe you're 0-6 when you're when you're putting up numbers like that. But uh, you know we're also leading 4A in turnovers. We're at uh, 15. We're like at minus 16 for the year. We're not creating turnovers turnovers on the offensive side, on the defense side of the ball, and we're giving too many up on the offense side of the ball. But you know I think we've come a long way. We're we're learning the offense and things of that nature. So uh, it's going in the right direction. We just hadn't quite been able to get over the hump yet. And as you've come over from Cleveland, uh, you've brought the triple option offense that uh, not a lot of schools are used to seeing. Uh, what's it been like uh, bringing that transition here to Kosciuszko? Well, you know, it's it's what we believe in. Uh, I believe in it because it's uh, something I'm a defensive guy and uh, I enjoy, you know, taking a lot of clock up, time off the clock and things of that nature, keeping the defense off the field. And uh, we, we've got, you know, it's a process of getting this all down and it's, it's really installing it in the junior high program and getting it up but we have really done a good job like I said we're having a lot of success hadn't been scoring the points we need to but we've been putting a lot of yardage up and so I think the kids have adapted well to it and I've been pleased with what they've done offensively. Good who are some of the standouts you've seen on the offensive side of the ball thus far? Well of course Jacon Williams done a great job at quarterback for us uh, we've got a two quarterback system we play two with a uh, Clark Dean and so and but uh, our fullback Ken Juan Riley who's bummed up a little bit right now had two back-to-back uh, -back 100 yard rushes uh, and then uh, last week of course Bobo came out with his um, 200 yard game and so that's the way it is with this offense some weeks it might be one one person and then the next week that person might not have but six yards because we're going to take advantage of whatever the opponent is given to us. Sure and speaking of defense. Uh, you serve as defensive coordinator here at Kosciuszko. Uh, what's the development been like here in the first year? It's been a it's been a process. It's been a been a little bit of a struggle. We've we've uh, we really our our Achilles heel has been giving up the big play this year. Uh, we there's times we really play extremely well but uh, then we let, you know, like last week, we had two runs over 50 something yards, I think. And we just can't, we've got to eliminate those things. And so we're kind of going back to the basics, going to try to be a little more vanilla and try to get things where we don't, because we, we can't do that to the offense. We can't, we've got to be able to, you know, uh, get the ball back to them and not give up a quick, quick touchdown. Talk about a couple of the defensive standouts. Clint, uh, Clint Williams had a great year. I think he's probably second or third in the in the state in 4A in tackles for losses. Uh, a very wide open player that just gets after it 110%, gives you everything he's got out there on the football field. Kahari Haynes has done a great job. Uh, the, uh, Devin Foster's done a great job at, at linebacker and Chris Robinson. So we've got some guys that have, have done well. And like I said, it's just uh, been a minimal mistake here or there that's been the problem. But uh, you know, it's a, it's a good group of guys. Well, Coach, you're at the transition point where you start region play, and as you look down that uh, home stretch of the season, uh, what's your assessment of the team and where, you, where you'd like to see them go? Well, of course, we'd like to have a little momentum going with the victories. 
but we've been harping on the positive things that we are doing. And, uh, you know, the attitude of the team has been great. Uh, it really has. There's nobody throwing in the towel. Uh, they've been practicing extremely hard, and, and that's all I can ask. They've been playing extremely hard. And so uh, we're going to, we're taking it as the start of a second season for us. And um, we're going to go from there. And I think, I think, I think we're, we're about to turn this thing around. That's Coach Kelly Causey, the Kosciuszko Whippets, uh, giving us a few minutes of his time to talk about his football team. And, Coach, we wish you well and good luck the rest of the season. go. Thanks for tuning in to another football season preview on Max South Sports. Be sure to tune in throughout the season to keep up with the Kosciuszko Whippets and all Mississippi high school football action on Max South Sports, where local sports take center stage. Nope.